everyone, today I'm going to film a long um, anticipated video by me. Um, I've actually been planning this video for a really long time, but I've been waiting for the perfect time to film it. Um, this is a topic that's really close to my heart and I've been thinking about it for a really long time, like at least a couple months. Um, this is the second time I'm filming it. Um, I filmed it this morning, but I wasn't home alone, and now I have the opportunity to be home alone, so I'm refilming it so I can talk louder for you guys. I was really excited to film this video. Um, it's really been on my mind all summer. I've been thinking about it for so long. I have notes next to me, um, so don't mind me if I'm looking down at them. I just don't want to forget anything because this is a really important topic. So in case you guys are wondering, the topic that I'm going to talk about today is my lowest weight and my highest weight and um, what the differences were and what my weight played, um, if it played as a factor in my happiness. I'm warning you in advance that um, I hope this isn't triggering. If it is, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean it to be. I'm not going to name like specific numbers. I'm just going to name like sort of differences and stuff like that. I guess I'll start off by telling you a bit about me. Um, throughout my eating disorder, I lost about 30 pounds um, and the high, but my difference between my highest weight right now and my lowest weight is about 45 pounds. At my lowest weight, um, I was 45 pounds less than I am right now, um, which is huge. <laughs> it's a big difference. Um, and because now I'm 15 pounds um, heavier than I was before my eating disorder. Um, but I'm going to start off by saying that um, that doesn't really matter to me because I'm five years older now than I was before my eating disorder. So obviously my body's changed. Um, my puberty, <laughs> my my bones are heavier and stuff like that. Everything has changed. You know, so that weight, um, the 15 pounds, you know, I still fit into my old clothes. So if that gives you any idea, um, I still wear the same size as before my eating disorder. I'm just heavier. At my lowest weight. I was, um, I had lost about 30 pounds, and I used to weigh myself at least 10 times a day. I would weigh myself before every time I ate, after every time I ate, when I woke up in the morning, when I went to bed at night, um, before going to the bathroom, after going to the bathroom, everything. Um, I used to weigh myself all the time. Like, the battery and the scale was dying all the time, and it was just the most frustrating thing. Um, but yeah. Um, besides weighing myself all day, I either did that or I laid in bed all day. I went on my iPad on Pinterest, no joke, um, and I scrolled through my Pinterest and I would find recipes of food that was like super like not safe, like huge pasta dishes and like desserts and stuff like that, um, and I would pin them because I'd be like, oh yeah. I totally want this, but I can't have it, so I mean, looking at pictures of it is the next best thing. Um, so I would do that all day. That, and I would eat mints and chew gum all day long. Um, so that's what I did, and um, even while only doing that, I was still really tired. I had no energy, and I had no energy, like, it took so much energy just to walk from my door to the car or things like that, um, so I had no energy. And I was numb, like I had no emotions since I wasn't eating. I felt like sort of detached from reality. And I feel like I was just floating through life. And I wasn't really living, but I was numb, you know? But I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that there wasn't any good that came out of it. Because obviously, if it wasn't appealing, I wouldn't have done it, right? So I'd say that I was proud of my weight loss. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I hated my weight loss. Like, I totally wanted to gain weight. Um, because that's not the case. <laughs> that's not how eating disorders work. Um, my eating disorder was really happy that I was losing weight and that I was at my lowest weight ever and that it was proud and I felt like I was worth something and that I was good at something. Um, but in reality, no one else was proud of me, um, only I was. And everyone else was worried or scared or <laughs> those mean the same thing um, or just really concerned, you know? No one was proud like I was. Um, and I guess that's how I was at my lowest weight. And um, at my highest weight, um, until recently, I haven't been very happy at my highest weight. I was still preoccupied by weight, um, my behaviors were still there, uh, I was still suffering and I still felt really crappy in general. 
Um, I'd be lying once again if I said that like I was even better once I gained weight because I really wasn't. Um, gaining weight did not make me happier, it, um, but it did bring me happiness in other ways that I wasn't as recognizing as much as I should have. Like, um, because I was eating, I was able to have energy to go run, to go skate, to go to school, to get good grades. Um, I was able to see my friends, but I was able to do a whole bunch of things, but I wasn't recognizing them because I was so focused on the weight and the numbers and stuff like that. Um, and at my lowest, but I was still super concerned with numbers too, like it was, the number was never low enough. Um, and that brings me to my next point, is that whether it's your lowest weight or your highest weight, it has nothing to do with your happiness. As you can see, I was unhappy at both my lowest weight and my highest weight. Um, and right now, in this present moment, I'm actually really happy. Um, and you know what? I weigh even more than I did at my highest weight once I'd, when I had written these notes. Um, I weigh a couple pounds more, and I don't care. <laughs> like, I have so much more in life right now. Like, I see my friends. I... Like, I am, I'm actually happy and like, I do things and like, I feel like I'm actually living. Um, so that comes with time and I think that that comes with something totally unrelated to my weight. Um, well, I mean, feeling things comes with gaining weight and eating, but like, other than that, um, I think that the people that are like, oh yeah, I'm going to lose 10 pounds or whatever. And I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna love myself more. I'm gonna look better. And like, okay, fine. Like, try it. Let me know if it works. Let me know if you're any happier. If the number is ever low enough. If you're never like scared of gaining back the weight. Because if you've suffered from an eating disorder in the past, chances are that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose your 10 pounds, and then you're gonna be like so paranoid of eating because you're not you're not gonna know if you're gonna gain weight or not by eating that. And you don't want to gain back the weight that you lost. Um, so you're always going to be like sort of living on the edge and you're never going to be able to eat the way that a normal person eats. You're always going to be in like a restricting mode, which is how I was for the majority of my life. Um, and I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy like just sort of eating things depending on my weight and stuff. Like that's not life. That's not eating normally. That's not having a healthy relationship with food. The point of this video is that weight has no relation to your happiness. Um, like, just because you lose weight doesn't mean you're going to be happier, and vice versa, you know? Um, happiness, this is going to be really cheesy, but happiness comes from within. Um, today, I'm genuinely happy, not because I weigh 15 pounds more than I was before my eating disorder, but because I have so much more in life right now than I ever did before. And sure, one of the things that helped was gaining weight, but it's not the only reason why, and I really want to stress that, that... Just because you gain weight doesn't mean you're going to instantly be happy. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, all the doctors say that, but it's not true. I also really wanted to emphasize that weight has nothing to do, um, I mean, I also really wanted to emphasize that no one knows your weight, no one knows what size you're wearing, you have nothing to prove, like, no one's gonna, like, demand for you to tell them how much you weigh, like, it's not something that's important, you know, people don't do that, like, you don't have to tell people how much you weigh. And so no one really knows your number, and I mean, no one really cares either. If you were alone in the world, would you really want to live like this? Would you really want to be worried about your weight all the time? Because I know that I wouldn't. If I was alone on this planet with no judgment or anything, like I wouldn't care. <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful for some of you, and you appreciated it, and um, I hope that this was sort of inspirational, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!